Hi, I'm Krista Smith. Welcome to the Toronto International Film Festival. I'm talking with Idris Elba and Naomi Harris for their film here at Toronto, Mandela. So thank you so much for joining me. And you guys are both so versatile, as I've seen you in many different films, and it was great to see you as uh, Winnie Mandela. And it feels like you were born to play Mandela. Fantastic performance. Thank you. And we were kind of chatting earlier about the timing of it, because when I saw the film, it made me think about why has this movie not been made before? Mm. Was it because Idris wasn't available? <laughs> <laughs> Did he have to get a little gray in his beard before he could do it? So can you tell me why, why now for this film? I mean, I, you know, I think, um, you know, Mandela has maintained being a, a, you know, a living legend over the decades, you know, even when, you know, he, he was uh, an important figurehead in the world community. He was important and had a presence amongst the world, but it hasn't gone. And the timing is amazing at the moment mm -hmm. because of you know where he is in his mm -hmm. life, his stage of life, where South Africa is. Um, this film really speaks, you know, to to an audience there and around the world. That some who know Mandela obviously, and some who don't know his life as well. So, and what I learned in this film is that most of Mandela's was kept alive a lot by Winnie and by the world. When they show that scene of Wembley and it's like free Mandela in the 80s, I, I remember that visually. Did you get to meet her at all? I or? did, yeah. I was uh, very, very lucky because Idris actually set it up. He set up a, a dinner with Winnie and her daughters as well, so that was an incredible opportunity. One of my burning questions was, how do you want to be portrayed? Mm -hmm. You know, how do you want people to see you? Because, you know, if I was, if someone was playing my life, I'd have all sorts of ideas about how I wanted to be seen, mm -hmm. you know? Um, but she was very generous and she said, you know, you've done your research and I trust you, you're the right person for the role, and uh, so you portray me as you see fit. And that was incredibly liberating for me, because yeah. then I felt really free to just play with her, you know, mm -hmm. play with all the research and, you know, interviewing people and uh, or read it, reading all the different books that I had on her and just I felt able to make up my own decision about who she mm -hmm. was. And and the, the script really got under the skin of, you know, it wasn't just Mr. Mandela, white hair, standing there pumping mm -hmm. fist, it was a man, a story, a this is what, these are the decisions that Mr. Mandela made during his life and I can completely relate to that. Well, that's what I love what the film does. It takes you from a child to a young man and adulthood and marriages and all the way through. Yeah, we wanted to, to give a good and the good mm -hmm. and the bad, you know? Mm -hmm. Everybody has a good and bad side, you know? This isn't your regular sort of biopic. You know, mm -hmm. it's very sort of, it's risque in a sense. Mm -hmm. It's great. Well, thank you so much for stopping by and I really hope people see this movie and it's just a, it's a great piece of entertainment and also so, informative at the same time. Yeah, thank you.